In this video, we'll cover the new CR Lawrence US Aluminum catalog feature. And that is that your pricing actually comes through the internet from the US Aluminum server. So a little different than the old, uh, older concept of having all the pricing in the catalog. So first, let's go ahead and get into V15 here. Um, so the two things you're going to need are an internet connection to not only download the catalog, but also um, be able to connect to the US Aluminum server. So let's assume we've installed the catalog. It'll look like this after you've installed it. Uh, remember, you can get that from our V15 uh, vendors page. And you'll see actually a PDF file link that uh, will show you um, directions in text how to do that. So if you like to read about stuff, that would be another option for learning this. So let's go ahead and select this catalog from the list. And mostly it's just like every other catalog in the G in the WinBid Pro software in GDS. So um, the big difference is under the parts list, you still have a ton of parts, um, but there's no prices. So the whole idea with this is the pricing is done through the internet from the US Aluminum server. So the pricing will always be up to date. Uh, they figure your quantity discount so the multipliers are no longer a factor with this new catalog. Um, so we recommend you don't touch those, just leave them at one because whatever price they return to you is your discount price. So keep that in mind, but all the part numbers and all that are standard US aluminum part numbers. Um, and the framing systems, we've gone over the framing systems and made sure uh, those are as, as good as we can get them. And of course, you can go in and change those yourself. Uh, you know, you can edit part numbers, uh, change part numbers, uh, delete, add, all those types of things, just like before. So let's say that, uh, so we have this sample job here. There's two elevations. And the first thing you're going to want to do to use this feature to get your pricing is just like any other job. You're going to add your elevations, put your glass in, your doors, your uh, all your different components. And then you want to optimize. So when we optimize, uh, we want to get the elevation parts. That's going to gather up all the cut pieces from all the elevations in the job. And then we're going to optimize those cut pieces and figure out how many stock lengths are required. Um, a new feature in, in this version, or actually in the last version, but carries over, is you can check the boxes down here to automatically open either the final parts or final glass reports. So I'm going to check final parts. And I'm done with the optimizer, so I'm going to go. And it automatically opens up final parts. Now, this is where um, the new feature comes into play. So you'll notice this yellow button up here. This used to be a change factors button in all the other catalogs. So in this catalog, it's a submit to US Aluminum button. So since we've optimized and drawn all our elevations, we have all our parts listed here. Uh, but if I scroll over here, you'll notice there's no prices. And it, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, but it helps to have a, a bigger monitor than just a 17 inch or something small like that. Um, 17 inch on a laptop is great, but on a desktop, it's too small. So uh, keep that in mind. If you had a bigger monitor, you could see more of this at once. Um, so right now we have zero prices and they're in red just to alert you that there's no pricing. So the next step is simply click Submit to US Aluminum. And I have a little test account that I'm going to use. But like I say, they uh, will have to set you up with an account to let you log into their server to do this. So that's something you want to talk to your sales rep or call the sales center at uh, US Aluminum to do. But once you have that, you'll enter that information here and log in. And it may take a few seconds. Let's see how long it takes here. So the next thing that comes up is the shipping information screen. Now, assuming your account was set up recently, you should have all the current information in there. So all you should have to do is click OK. I guess you can select what type of shipping you like. Um, US ground is the UPS ground is the default. But um, so that's an option, too. Uh, but we click OK. And this is where the, all the parts are getting sent to the server right now. And it's a matter of five to 10 seconds, I believe. Let's see what this one does. Depends on the size of the job probably too. So now it's returned the pricing. So this column here was uh, filled out 
so there's one custom part and there's a part that it didn't understand I guess so this one here uh, the JS40522 now something that we're doing with this new catalog is the part numbers used to be only five characters with US Aluminum prior to um, CR Lawrence's uh, purchase so with CR Lawrence they're gonna use extended part numbers which is they've got a color code or some other coding um, after the the five digit part so keep that in mind when it comes back with the pricing and the uh, the notes here for custom part and all that um, the part numbers are going to get modified to their full length and that's so that you can become familiar with those longer part numbers so that's one difference too with this final parts report now if I want to fix this let's say I, it is a zero price because it's custom or that it was a part that they couldn't find because um, it wasn't updated in their system or something there might be a number of reasons uh, we can actually edit that part and just enter a price ourselves so this looks like screws there's a box of a hundred um, so if we edit that we're gonna want to add a per unit price here so not a box price so I would say say 25 cents um, and it looks like the quantity is 112 the package quantity is 100 now it's always going to be package pricing with this new US aluminum catalog so it should show me two boxes and it does so packages to order this is a new column that we've added for this new catalog uh, it shows I need two boxes of that so at 25 cents each, um, that would be $50. So we're good to go with that. And we can do the same thing with the other one. So that's how you can fix some of the pricing if it doesn't come back the way it needs to come back. And you can work with your sales rep or the, the order center at US Aluminum to figure out what it needs to be. Um, after that, you can print the report just like always. And uh, it'll show you your printed report. You can export it through the print report options in the in the main menu so one last thing to show you let's say you get out and you do some other jobs and then you come back to this job and you want to go back to your final parts report it's going to ask you it's going to tell you first of all that there's already an existing quote so if you want to use the same quote and not overwrite it and resubmit the pricing and all that you can go ahead and hit yes the difference is if you've changed your elevations in your job, let's say you've added an elevation, changed the sizing, re-optimized, you know, changed parts, any of that stuff, you're going to need to resubmit your, your quote. So um, if I say yes, it's just gonna open the previous quote. And keep in mind, there's a quote number at the top here. This is important for the US Aluminum system to know that you're working on this specific quote. Um, that quote number is also added to the end of the job name which you'll also see at the bottom of the GDS window. Um, actually, I'm sorry, at the top. <laughs> so you can see that up here in the final parts window, but if we close this, and let me say, it, if I maximize this, then we'll see it in the job name at the bottom. So that quote number is important. So if I go back in here and I say, no, uh, I don't wanna use that previous quote. Let's say I did add elevations, I made changes, I need to resubmit this, this job. I'll say no, it wipes out the, the quote number so that you can get a new quote. So it says not quoted, and then I would go through the same process of submit to the US Aluminum. Uh, if I need to edit some prices, I can, but again, you wanna check with your sales rep and your um, the order people at US Aluminum to make sure that uh, the pricing's correct. So that's pretty much it. That's the new US Aluminum feature, and uh, it's a great way to go because you don't have to worry about your pricing being up to date in your catalog. You don't have to change your multipliers. All that stuff is handled with the US Aluminum server per the, the status of your account, let's say. So thanks for using GDS.